Hi, I'm back here um, talking about my last video was about my what I have. You know, I have a misdemeanor and domestic battery. Um, I have been very disappointed. Um, you know, job after job after job. You know, everybody says no, no. They don't. They don't say no, but they say they don't say anything. Um, I actually, I don't know if I talked about this in my other video, but I applied at. Um, I applied at Office Depot, and they said they were gonna hire me, but they gave me a call back. I mean, I did tell the girl, and she said yeah, but somehow she said I don't know, something. Um, and then recently, I actually applied at H and R Block, and they said that I was hired and everything. And I, I did put it in my application. I didn't tell the big girl, but I did put it in my application. I said that. I was, uh, I had a misdemeanor in domestic battery, um, and they said, she said, I mean, nah, and then they called me and said, yeah, I got hired, and then, um, next thing you know, you know, three weeks, I mean, I went to training for twice, I went training twice, and then I got a letter in the mail, because I, when you do an application, you know how they could send you back what they get. Um, I got a letter saying that I failed the criminal, I mean the background check. So then I spoke to the lady, I'm like, why did you know you said I did apply? And I put it online, but then they said, the, the, I told the lady, and then the lady spoke to the supervisor, and the supervisor said that I need to speak to them because it's not their problem. I mean, they didn't say it like that, but that's what he meant. You know, he said he can do nothing about it. So I was like, I was so upset. I was crying. I was sad because I was excited about the job. I know it's going to be seasonal, but, you know, I was going to work in a professional job and everything. And I was like, so upset. And I feel so sad right now because, like, where am I going to work? Where else? You know, I have been looking for a job. And, you know, I never, I don't want to work in McDonald's or Burger King or any of that stuff. But I guess I'm going to have to work on, right now I'm 20 years old. And I did, um... I did get my my conviction convicted I was convicted I was guilty um, two years ago and it does suck um, I don't even know what to say it's so sad like I was so sad because you know I went online and look can you get a job can you with I look for domestic violence because I have a domestic violence charge and you know people are like oh no they won't hire you because it's a violent charge and I you know and it sucks because I have been reading about different people and haven't looked online on YouTube and seen people that have felony charges and they can't even get a job. I know a felony is worse than a misdemeanor, but um, the thing is, mine is a violent crime. So it is worse, you know. I want to work in the medical field. How am I going to work in the medical field if I don't have a, you know, I don't have a clean record and it sucks. Like, I feel very disappointed, but then I found this website where they were talking about yeah maybe you can't it was it was not a, exactly a, a doctor you know getting your license it was a sec, getting your license for sec, becoming a psychologist and they said yeah you might be able to and all this stuff and i was kind of excited but before that i was sad because i spoke to a lawyer and i because i was looking at lines well i said if you want to expunge your record you have to wait five years um, I mean, I can't even expunge it, actually. I have to get a governor's pardon, and then after that, I have to expunge my record. I couldn't be able to expunge my record. And a governor's pardon is, it goes directly to the governor, and they have to, um, you know, approve it. And the governor is only one person, and they have, like, a thousand. Excuse me, I'm sorry. They have like thousands, like they have 3,000. I was looking online and said that, well, I mean, I live in Illinois, and they said that the governor had 3,000. The last governor, he left some thousand governor pardons there. The new governor, he got, he went through some, let's say 3,000, and he only approved, or he went through 1,000 out of 3,000. 
it's like so sucks. Then I had to wait, and then five years I spoke to the lawyer, and he said he's gonna charge me four to five thousand dollars. I was so devastated. I was like, how am I gonna get the that money? I don't have a job. Most likely, three years from now, I'm gonna be what, working at. I don't even want to say, but McDonald's maybe or some Burger King place. I mean, I am gonna finish up my degree just because I do use financial aid. And I don't have to pay for anything. As long as I don't have to pay for anything, um, I will keep going to school. And I will try to get um, a degree somewhere. Um, but yeah, that's my lifestyle. Bye. Oh, and Happy New Year. Today is a new year.